making crunchy bits. Meat, the only food group you need. Today we'll be trying Michaela Peterson's crunchy bits from her LionDiet.com website. After eating a steak almost every day for the past six months, it's time to find a new snack. I've had more steaks in the past six months than I have in the last five years. I used to live off chicken, but now I'll barely touch it. The crunchy bits sound very tasty. This is how it went. You take this beef, pressure cook it, rip it up, air fry it, and you got crunchy bits. First step, take the meat. We got a pressure cooker way over here. Put the meat in the pressure cooker. Then we're gonna cover it with water. All right, it's covered with water, as you can see from the GoPro cam. And now we need some salt. Redmond's real salt. Two teaspoons, let's just. And over here, come on. Locked. I think I got it right. Okay, so now we turn on. First we plug it in. Then we go cook. Oh, it started to cook. All right, let's let it go. So what should we do while we wait for our, we make some smash burgers, baby. More meat. Are you hungry? I'm starving. We have the ground meat. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Okay, we're gonna squish this and make balls. Squished. All right, now we got our balls. We got a smasher. Beef tallow on the smashers. Got our ball of meat, put that in. And there we have our smash burgers. Tomatoes, try it out. Good smash burger. Okay, so our pressure cooker is finished. It's hot. There I am, look, there's a reflection of me. Hi, everybody. Okay, let's go. Let's get our roast. Check out that roast. But first I'd like to just try it. I didn't really say how to do it, so I'm gonna try just putting it on top of some foil. Put it in the pan. Okay, let's just try that. It says something about put some beef towel on it too. I don't put too much, let's just do half. Beef tallow, I don't know, just put some on top somewhere. Here and there, mix in with the meat somehow. Put in the air fryer, let's go to the air fryer. Air fry medium high, 400, eight minutes, 400. We'll try seven minutes and then stir, and again, another seven minutes, stir, another seven minutes. Here it comes, well, we'll be back in seven minutes. While we wait, we're gonna cut the pineapple. Should we take it off? All right, who wants a piece? Mm. Okay, we got our first seven minutes, eight minutes done, eight minutes. We're gonna turn them. The foil's ripping underneath. We'll try this just like this and we'll see how it is. Another seven minutes, we'll be back. All right, another seven minutes gone. It's, now it's crispy, it's kind of like crispy, but burnt almost. I don't think I want to put it again because it's just gonna burn more. It's kind of dry. Did I need more fat in it? Maybe I need more fat in it. I think it's the whole idea with the, the soup. Let the fat go to the top, put it back on the meat, and put it back in the air fryer. I think burnt meat. I think it needs salt too. It doesn't come out good at all. We'll try the other half with more fat. All right, we're back in the kitchen. It's two days later. We got the leftover meat, and I think this is the magic ingredient, the fat from on top of the soup. Not much fat. Ice floating around in a river. Okay, so we're gonna take some of this fat and put it on the meat, put it in the air fryer. We're gonna watch it. Actually, Daphne ended up eating all the good pieces from that meat, so she ate some of it. The rest was burnt to a crisp. Off of it. Grab the pieces of fat here, like this. Put it down onto the meat. Look at this nice big piece. It's like a moon. It's like a football. Look at a football. Okay, look at these nice pieces, eh? We should put a little bit of salt on it. All right, let's put it in the oven. And uh, air fry. Say six minutes, for 400, maybe 425 was too much last time. We'll see how it goes. Fat is melted. Hmm, smells pretty, smells better today. We did six minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so now the meat looks actually uh, delicious. Cause it's all full of fat. Oh, it's getting hot. We'll just mix it up a bit and they're gonna put it back in. This looks really good. So the key is the fat. What do you need? why the yogurt tasted crap, because they took out the fat. Now 
another six minutes at 405. This was a sirloin roast. It was $15 for that nice big giant roast. It's super cheap, 580 a pound from Metro. All right, here they are. They're done. I think I have to go out this before they start burning. So here's what they look like. They look like crunchy pieces of meat. Okay, ready? Not bad. I'd rather have a smash burger. They're not bad. It's just crunchy meat. That's my crunchy bits. They're okay. Maybe they're just good for on the road. Take it for your plane ride or car ride. They're good. The more I ate them, the more I couldn't stop eating them. I like chips, you can't stop eating them. It's much better than chips too. Better for you just some chips, right? So, that means it's a success. That's what I wanted. All right. These are my crunchy bits. I bet you ate all of them right now. I put them on a nice plate now. And yes, I ate the whole plate in one shot.